Hey, you guys. I'm back. I know. Hubby left me at home. What? Yes. Um, We were going to get gardening stuff like uh, mulch and stuff like that. And I think I'm in his way when we go. <laughs> but we'll go out later to get me some more flowers to plant. Yeah, so we'll do that separate. I guess he figured I could do that. But yeah, anyway, I'm at home. So I decided, you know what? I'll show you some of the stuff that I found in my she shed. And mind you, everyone, I will not be able to use everything at one time, but I can show you how or what my thought was in using it. And I broke a nail and didn't even know it. I'm doing a lot of stuff around here. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I came across these foam stamps and um, I came across the ones in the house and I said, wait a minute, I think I packaged these and kept mine, which I had to go look at my, I like these bags, you guys, these Dollar Tree bags right here. Oh my gosh, I saw someone on Etsy selling these Dollar Tree bags for $10 for one and nothing's in it. You get the empty bag and I know it, it was ridiculous. And then you had to pay $3 and some change for shipping, I think. But anyway, I, these are a dollar piece at your Dollar Tree. And if you don't see them in your store, I will go to the Dollar Tree, especially if you want them in bulk and order them. People are using them for art journaling stuff. I use mine for stamps. I use them for little bits and pieces. These really come in handy. And yes, I did get punches of them. But I came across, it's not even about this bag, is it? <laughs> I get to... Um, I get to just ramble on today, right? Because I'm going to try to show you as much stuff as I could. I want to show you some of my um, organization stuff because now my things are organized totally different than they were before because I had all my space on one level and here it's not like that. But I came across these and I purchased these from... Tuesday morning way back in 2013 and they had the clear stamps and it's like layering but these are more so for stenciling stenciling they actually have some of them have the outlines for them um but anyway what I did was I actually never really used the stamps i want to use these i don't know if i'm going to start doing a series on you know that new stuff you find and you hadn't used it so you use it to see if you like it and i i know i can do a lot of stuff in my art journals with these stamps i'm gonna have to put those back later because um i put them in there let's see neatly i know i'm fumbling around and making so much noise but yeah um but guess what, you guys? These are the extras. So I figured what I would do is these are the extras that are giveaways. So I would actually have to do a video on using these. These are the extras. And I'm going to actually put them in this video right here. Because I think a lot of people that do art journaling, Use these with the jelly plate. Yes, I, I'll do a art journaling segment using the jelly plates, using these it's right here. They actually come apart. These stamps were actually, look, 20, I mean, here and 13. See that? All of them are 2013, $1.99. You can't get that. Tuesday morning, what did you do? Yeah, you increased all your prices. But anyway, yes, this was a um yeah, a segment I thought I would just show you stuff that I found in my she shed. 
and um, that I had not used or that I came across and forgot about. And I tell you, you guys, I forgot about these. But in the back of my mind, I remember having loads of phone stamps. Um, I just haven't come across them because I still have loads and loads of stuff in my um, storage boxes and boxes and ooh, boxes of stuff that I'm going to actually probably go check on or get a few more boxes. Once I put all the stuff in here that I have in here, now I think it's just a matter of me identifying what I have and making a decision as to whether I'm going to keep it or, or de-sash it. Yeah. But a lot of it, yeah, I will be making projects with, maybe getting rid of those projects or selling them or putting kits together. I'll have to see what is easiest for me um, and what will allow me to continue to do my crafting, but start thinning out my inventory. I have lots and lots of inventory. Yeah, so you guys, I did what, I don't know what else I would show you about these stamps right here. Oh, I know, you could use these in your, I'll just think of a few ways you could use these. You could use these in your art journaling books. You could use these on your, in your um, junk journals on your pages, on printed news pages. You can use them on your jelly plate and make background pages. You can use them alone. Um, we're, I'm going to try using them quite a few different ways. Um, yeah, they're, like I said, I bought these. And I'm sure by the time they got to Tuesday morning, let's see when they made them. I don't see a date on them. And you know they're by Ranger Inc. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to look Claudette up because I think I still see her stuff around, just not as much. I'm trying to see when they made these stamps, but I don't see a date on them. I know it was way back when, because I, like I said, I purchased them way back in 2013. So I figured... It was probably a few years before that that they were out. These, this, at one time, Claudine Help Helmet was very popular. Um, yeah, but I'm just trying to find stuff that I could show you guys. But that is one of the finds that I had. Um, that I found in my she shed. Now, what I did want to do is show you some ways that I was setting up my craft room in here, but I can't do that right now because I have to move my camera and the last time I tried to do it, it messed up my video and I don't know how to edit. Yeah, I do, but I have not. That should be one thing I learned. I need to go either take a class or something on editing my videos using my Mac. Or is there somebody out there that could actually, you know, I had quite a few friends at one time that actually used a Mac and they would tell me, well, yeah, um, what to do with it. And I actually used it and I could edit videos and all that kind of stuff. But I also had a camera. I, I know at one time we had that YouTube camera and then they got rid of that software. But oh, I'm going to have to pull my Mac out and start using it. And it's just been on my dining room table plugged and never used oh my gosh you guys <clears throat> i'll probably have to um yeah see how to start using that because i need to start editing stuff so that i can do some videos the way i want them to look but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i know you guys are saying miss d you really don't have anything to talk about um, here. Yeah, but this is for, um, this is a she shed fine. And it's also art journaling because I could, I should pull out and use it, do it now, but no, I won't do that. But anyway, you guys, I'll come back to you all later when 
I um, find something else that I could just sit and chat about and tell you how I use it um, right now. Let's see, what's on my workstation? Oh, I do have something that I'm going to show you later, but that won't be part of the, <clears throat> maybe so. I was going to say that will not be a part of the, the giveaway, but look, you guys, I'm going to have to show, pick this up. I know this is me being a busybody. Can you all see the little? But it's a little Mickey pot, you guys. I think I. Yeah, I sure did. I went to a Dollar General store that's not far from me, and I picked that up. Saw it for six dollars a picture. How cute! is that i know i'm just showing you guys what's on my workstation right now because it's a lot of stuff on my workstation um put it back over there yeah i just have it uh holding a bunch of of, of stuff and then this i have my workstation and this is some of my pens you guys as i go along if i see something i have everywhere over all over the place pretty nice stuff like put the the same things in um, put the same things together because I do have a lot of stuff that I use at one time. <clears throat> and it's easier than I have together. Yeah, but pretty much I am just trying to get organized while I'm finding stuff in my shit and trying to put what I want. I came across something. And I'm going to have to do this, too, because I found this. It's not that it is a prop, but it's some projects that I had started. And I was looking at them. Here is the template for it. And it's funny. It is making those using in one sheet of paper. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to move this here. I'll just, this is a chit chat, you guys. So, I'm not following anyone doing all right. Double sided paper. I like using sided paper, making the little albums and make using one of the paper, you can actually make the album. But you put the paper down to the size you want. This one using, it had to be an eight by eight piece of paper. And you could make them set. all you have to really do the paper down to the side on it. These have already glued together, so <clears throat> put little things in the pocket. Actually, have some, but this all of these is using one piece of paper. I don't care what size the piece of paper you could make it. Let's see if I have little teens here. Yeah. Look how little that one is. I did it actually the same way. You put these little in there. Yeah, but you cut your paper down to whatever size you want it to be. Here's one. It's a totally different <laughs> Christmas one. Why does it upside down? Okay, open this way. Ah, that's not this binding of it. It opens this way. Is folded differently. It's just using a one piece of paper. This is folded a little different. Here's one. You can always do little. Yeah, you, know, you do your 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 pro proto bleh, prototypes. Yeah, I had to see the word. It's a great but put in your little art journals or sending a little gift with look, putting little tags in it. And I think I just a bunch of double paper that I came across with the exception of, oh yeah, I did. And I made little books. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, you know what I'll do since I came across these and this is a, a find, uh, I'll just decorate it. I don't know what, what I was. This is the other side of that, so I guess it does match. And you could use those 
that stamp pattern for this last one. This is still going to use cut the paper <clears throat> evenly according to how many pages you want. Yeah, pattern. And um, here's one that's that size. Aren't these cute? I think I might have to decorate these up and use them. Put them in little things. Yeah, you could put a binding on the back of it. And this is one folded a different folded really different way. You see that it's two pieces. You just folded them and attached them. Made them a little book. You could put up on this, and then when you open it, it'll open like this where you put a card or side. I'm gonna have to do uh, lots and lots of sizes. Um, another thing I was gonna tell you about, you know, because you see you have a lot of stuff like this. Uh, do you all do like mass production? This, you know, this stuff right here, like just sit and cut paper. I think when I come back, show you all this video, that I am going to actually have a bunch of them already cut up and um, sitting here waiting for me to come so that um, you could see how I'm setting up. Oh, I can't show that. How I'm setting up my junk journal um, and my art journal pantries. I'm calling it a pantry because I'm storing everything that is um, relative to the pantry I'm going to actually uh, store all in one place but it goes on these steps yeah you guys <clears throat> that's going to be i think when I, i'll actually have something for you all to do you guys are you tired of just listening to because right now that's what i have but, um you know to show you unless i'm doing a project and i haven't done one yet but i think i'm going to do a project using the stamps that i'll net that's what i'll do using that out the way yeah this will take a little bit um i can make it as easy as possible but who need water to wet these down? I don't want to make a big mess in here. So, yeah, I'm going to have to set this up so I show you the gel put and then just some stamps. Yeah. All right. But anyway, I'm going to a video and that so far. I'm, I know a lot of stuff, but I'm showing you that I put in my sheet here. I want to come across something that I could just add glue to um, and just alter something. But down in there. Anyway, you guys, um, <clears throat> if you, yeah, show me how you use your foam stamps. Um, yeah, let me know if you actually use them for your car, only your cards, or you could use these for learning. Do you only do them for, you know, your um, junk journals, or do you use them your gel print and all that kind of stuff? You just tell me how to do it. What kind of paints do you use with them? Um, yeah, how do you care for them? Some people don't like to use them because if you wash and I mean, if you use them, wash them out, some it can destroy foam on there, but I have a lot of different phone stamps especially after, way after this Tim Hall series of phones, um, kind of these, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to collect up a, it's crazy, it is cold outside, but it's blowing, it, of course, it is what time of the morning, it's 9.30, now, but, <clears throat> Hopefully in the next hour, hubby will be back and we'll to the post office. Have to mail off some stuff today. Um, it's cold. It's like it was beautiful. Um, but it couldn't happen last night. It, I heard last night. It's 
raining and the wind blowing. I did videos that I'm doing, and if you are, it will be journal and stuff. And if you are um, are doing a journal, let me know what you're doing. You know, and if you're using phone stamps, and if you just want to play on, just do a video response and do that, or just do your own video. You can video response me just because I'm doing a video. Yeah, you can just do your own. You know, but you are interested in along with me or, or if i you know just so happen my comments and stuff and you left a comment i will consider you in the giveaway the overall video for the gnome if you like the gnome yeah um oh yay hubby is home now i know so i'm gonna see what he's done and because i have to get ready to go to the post office and i'll see you all in a little bit with this project all right you guys thanks for watching 21 minutes of absolutely nothing but <laughs> sorry you guys but anyway thanks for watching i hope anything that i actually said could have given you some hints as to um i mean uh, a few tips as to what i'm doing and how i would use what i'm using but anyway on that note i am going to go ahead and call this a video thanks for watching you guys and i'll talk to you later